It was a really good effort considering how tired we were on Sunday. The week of training that we had before that was the hardest that we've had all semester. So we really came together as a team at the end. We won the final relay and it was really cool to see that. Some of the girls actually swam faster than they did up in Ohio State in the, the mid-season invite. Some of the girls swam faster than they have in, in any dual meet so far this season. So, you know, for where we are uh, this time of year with how hard the training's been and, and with finals and everything going on, it's, it's been uh, really nice to see, you know, how they're responding. We have had a little bit easier training than we did last week. The coaches are really working on, like, flushing out our brains so we're not, like, overwhelmed with super hard practices and finals. Toledo's a young and, and quickly improving team. They have some some very good quality swimmers that match up really well with, with some of our athletes. But we are kind of changing things up a little bit based on you know kind of where we are in the season. So some people will be swimming some events they don't typically swim. Me personally, I'm not swimming the 50. I'm doing a more longer race. So I think it'll be fun to see how versatile we can be and come out of our comfort zones and definitely maybe throw them off a little bit because some of us won't be in our usual races. Being able to change events is nice for us as coaches to see athletes in different events, but also for the athletes as well. You know, it gives them a little bit of a break. It gives them a little bit of a change. Uh, it can help both mentally and physically. We're dressing up in Christmas gear, so it should be a good time. We just have to focus on the little things again. Like I said, making sure that we're staying tough through our races, I think is gonna be key.